Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Leroy here at Plugin Masters at Sherman Studio in Bordeaux, France. So today, we're gonna speak about the AI plugins, like one of my favorites, Sony Bow, the Smart EQ4. So let's get started, let's go. We're gonna listen to this track by Ava, which is a very, very important friend of mine's, and I'm so happy to be working on her track. Now, the song has already been mixed a little bit, or pre-mixed. You can see there's some EQs on some of the drums, some guitar stuff going on, some EQs on the piano, and you can see the basic stuff that we usually start with, a tuner, a de EQ, and a compressor on the voice, etc. Let's take a listen to the track. So that's real nice, very beautiful, you know, nice vocals, guitars, nice drum groove, you know, sounding pretty good. Okay, so let's take a look at the EQ, and there we go. This is the Smart EQ4, and the first thing we're going to do is look at the preference. The global preference is here, and the only thing I'm going to do is change the show to, and I'm going to click that off, the tips. And actually, if you guys want to, you can just leave that on if you need a little bit, little bit of help with tips. But right now, I don't really need that. And the default settings, I won't touch them at all. But sometime with the learning time, I might change that from 6 milliseconds to 10 or 30. It depends on the project. Okay, so let's take a look at the menu real quick. Okay, let's start with the menu up top. And you can see right here, this is the learn button. And this right here, you can choose the bass, the drums, even individual drums like hi-hat, kick, and snare guitars, acoustic, electric, keyboards, and vocals, etc. And then you can see down here, once you get to the mix track, you can actually choose what type of music that you want the um, Smart EQ to EQ for you. And sometime when you want, you can go up to eight different sets that you have already tried out and just save them right here with the Save button. And you can always go back to default. You got your Redo and Undo button. Okay, so let's start with the drums right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, play the drums, and then I'm going to select drums kit because it's the whole kit that's on the drum mix bus. So let's play that, and I'm going to learn. This is the AI working for you. All right, so nice. You can see right here that it already EQ'd it for you as a group, okay? Now, the great thing about this, if you see a few things that you want disagree with or agree, that's why it's kind of nice to know where frequencies are. So like the bass drum, let's take a look. It's over here around 60 hertz. You can see it right there. And you double click on that and you can actually go right to there. And that's a good feature right there. So that means it's a smart EQ, but it also allows you to do your personal touches. Now, once you do that, you can see you have your headphones. You can just listen to the bass drum and then you can actually change some of the um, the filters. So you got your shelf, your bell, filters, and this is nice. So it allows you to do a lot of things like that. Let's put it back in your bell. Okay, you can also put some type of a compressor on it. Right there, and you can see right here, you got your range, your threshold, your ratio, your attack and release, and you can modify them like if you want that to be 4.1 which typically could be used on a bass drum. That's nice. Okay, so now down at the bottom, you can see right here that change, you can cut that off and on. You can actually undo that. You can even go to default. Now, right here, you can see that we have um, our frequency, the center frequency. So is that, right now it's at 600, but you can move that and you can see that change to 300 and you can go back to that and it changed to one kilohertz but you can also double click and it returns back to 600. the impact is right here this is how much of the machine that you want to use of the smart eq and then you can go down and you can you can see that right there that it's negative 20 and you can go up to 70 or whatever number you want and that's the how much of the impact of the smart eq you, you would like to use so let's double click and put that back you can see this is the width and change that that's pretty nice you can do it from both sides and you have the smooth, and you can see right here, you can change that right there and move it back. This is how aggressive the Smart EQ works. And then finally, you have the um, adaptive function, 
in right there you can change that number but i'm gonna leave it at zero for right now right here is your phasing you have a linear phase minimum phase and if you have a small computer or something that really your process is really small or something like that you should stick with minimum you also have your panning so you got your mid sides and i'm not going to use that for the, the drums and then you can see right here you have your auto gain or you have your gain that you can change the gain the way you want okay double click on that back to zero Okay, so also I forgot to explain the um, this mode here. We have three modes. We have a track and group. That means individual track plus it's inside of a group. We just have the individual track. And you see here we have the group and it colors changes too. Now I'm going to go to the vocals and we're going to EQ the vocal. I'm going to go to high for female and I'm going to learn it. So let's play. The way you're licking me, only making me cry. The okay, so that's pretty nice. You can see what it did, you know, and you can also see that it removed some of the bass and some peaks here. So let's listen to it a little bit. The way you're licking me, only making me cry. The way Bypass. you're touching me, the way you're feeling me. I okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add groups right here. I'm going to call it music. Or you can name it any name that you want. You can see here, you can see the lead is already on it. And I'm just going to go here and add the other instruments. In this particular song, we have drums, we have pianos, two guitars, we have background vocals and a keyboard, mostly like a Fender Rose, I think. And then we have a mixed bus, but I'm not going to use the mixed bus. We're going to drag all of these down to the medium, even the lead vocal. Let's go back. Keys, piano, background, guitar drum mix and we bring that keyboard down now the great thing about this is it's going to organize your voices so just listen to everything all your beats and all your track so everything's functioning now what we can do now is learn everything but first let's go to guitar i'm going to go guitar right there and change try electric guitar it's background vocals I'm going to go to vocals. I'm going to go high again. Piano. There we go, keys. I'm going to go electronic. And we're going to go to guitar. I'm going to go back to guitar electric. And we have another keyboard. I'm going to do the same thing. Go to electric. And then drums are already done. All right, I'm going to press learn. It's going to learn all. And I can see it, it's working, the AI is working, it's nice. And that looks good. Okay, so now what we can do is, we can take the lead vocal and put that in the front. You can see we got a front, a middle, and back. So if I put something in front, it's gonna get, it's gonna be on the top of your mix. And something in the back is going to be in the back of your mix. So the lead should be in the top, right? So let's try that. Nice. And you saw it change. Watch the EQ change. I'm going to put it in the back. You see how that changed. I'm going to put it back in the front. That's good. So let's take the drums, put the drums up to the top. Keep those drums kicking. Just put the background vocals at the top. Just put the backs, the drums in the mid, middle, and take one of these keyboards, bring them down, and that keyboard too. Now you can see how it changed. Every time you move it, the EQ changes. Really nice. All right, so um, let's take a look at the uh, keyboard here and take a listen to that. And you can see that it's already been EQ'd within the group. Okay, so it's not many notes there, but I'm, you know, I'm gonna try to show you something like this. So you can click on this and you can split this. So now I can focus just in that section right there. And I'm just gonna bring that down, less impact on that and a lot more impact over here. Some of the things that you can focus on is get over here. So that's a nice function, nice feature. Okay, so let's check out the guitar right here. 
And let's listen to that guitar. And you can see it's already been EQ within the group. And that's nice. So now the um, there's three chords in this um, song, and that's the F sharp minor, and then you got a C sharp minor, and then you finish this with a B. See, you can see the first note. The bass is changing. So that's nice. So now let's take a look and see how the other guitar number two works with that. You can click on that button and you can see in the blue, that is guitar number two. So let me actually unsolo that so you can hear it. Nice, so you can see the second guitar. And then over here, you can bring in the piano again. The keys, and you click on that. You can see where the keys are functioning. And you can see that right here, most of the frequency are fighting each other, but that nice bass note on that first guitar is moving. But that's actually nice. You can actually see how these are working together and the EQs are quite different himself anyway. That's nice. Okay. All right. So um, one of the things that I like to have fun is with the mix bus. So let's go over to the mix bus here. And you can see you already got compressors, EQs, and a limiter on it. But let's check out the smart EQ, which is great on the mix bus if you like to use it. So you're going to go here. And this time, you don't need to select bass and drums and guitars and those things, you can actually choose the musical style. So I'm just thinking that R&B and soul would be a best choice for this particular song. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to play it and it's going to learn the songs. So let me take these out of solo mode and just put that back. And here we go. So that's nice. That's what it analyzes. But you can see right here, I don't agree with the bass. I'm going to kick that bass back up again. So that's nice. And let's double click in here. Okay. So now you can see that you don't have to agree with the AI, but you can actually, what's great about this Smart EQ, it allows you to make some of your own adjustments. Now there's one other thing that you can do. You can actually go in and you can load up a reference shot track. Go here, you select it, choose any track that you want, which we got a thousand tracks. And once you do that, it will change your EQ to the reference track. I still think that you should use these AI plugins. I really like it. It sounds great. It allows me to adjust it. So it's pretty good. And it, I really like that group feature. Really great. But I still think that you need to know the fundamentals of EQs and like bass drum is at 60, et cetera. And that will help you out a lot. So I think it's just part of great tools that you would use in mixing in general. So I see you guys at Plugin Masters. Later.